if you're not a fan of vibe coding or you haven't bought into the hype, it's probably because you haven't yet used Model Context Protocol, MCP. MCP is the new way that LLMs are gonna interact with everything. And there's gonna be other protocols that come out over time, but MCP is the starting point. MCP allows ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini to access tools like HubSpot, um, VirusTotal, VS Code, your Chrome browser. It allows so many different types of interactions. One of the great things about APIs is APIs will provide programmatic interface, but every interface is designed differently. And that is a challenge for developers. It creates the necessity to create mappings from tool A and tool B. For example, how many times have you worked in a SIM and you realize that the IP address in your SIM is incorrect. Maybe it's called IPv4 address. And then there's another field called IPv6 address. And then there's another field called IP address two because there's two IP address interfaces. The data mapping between APIs can be horrendous. With MCP, we all follow the same set of rules. There's tools, there's resources, there's prompts. These are the common paradigms of MCPs. I've been saying MCP server a lot, but what about the client? In the MCP protocol, there is a client and server relationship. The client is typically wherever you're sending the prompt from. The end user is using the MCP client. And a lot of times we don't necessarily realize that we're using an MCP client. ChatGPT is an MCP client by using ChatGPT, whether it's the web application or the desktop application, MCP is built into it. So far, there's been a massive adoption in model context protocol. And I think it's for good reason. It's for good reason because this technology is going to change the world and it's going to change our lives in cybersecurity, especially.